Hey, Forest Hills, and welcome to our virtual career week. Today's special guest is Mr. Leo Routens. Mr. Leo Routens is the announcer for the Toronto Raptors and a former professional basketball player. Welcome to Forest Hills School, Mr. Routens. Great to be here and uh, chat with the Falcons. I'm excited. Excellent. Thank you. We'll get right into the questions, and all these questions are provided to us from our students. What inspired you to choose your career? Well, believe it or not, my brother. Uh, my brother played basketball. My brother got scholarships to play in the United States. My brother got drafted in the NBA, also played for Canada. So my whole goal was to be better than my brother. If he had one scholarship, I wanted 100. He played for Canada. I wanted to be the best player for Canada. And he got drafted in the NBA, and I wanted to be a first-round pick. So I wanted to be better than my brother. <laughs> that is definitely a good motivation, having two brothers myself. I know the feeling. What is your favorite thing about your job? Well, I love being a basketball player. And the next best thing to being a player is being able to talk about it. So how many people can go to work, sit back, have some popcorn, get courtside seats, and talk about a game that everybody at home is doing the same thing I am. They're sitting there watching a game and having a conversation, except that's my job. So I don't know how much luckier a guy could get. I think we're, there's a lot of us who are envious of your position right now. <laughs> what are some roadblocks that you face along your career? And was there anything specific that maybe helped motivate you to grow stronger? Well, I tell you, I'm really big on one thing, setting goals. Because here's the point. No matter what you want to do, if I want to be a professional basketball player, I want to be a TV announcer, lawyer, doctor, it doesn't matter what I want to do. At some point in time, you're going to get knocked down. You're going to hit roadblocks, and things are not going to go your way. But if you have goals, you're always going to stay focused on what you want to do. And that was really big for me. Jack Donahue was a great coach for Canada, coached Canada basketball for a long time. And he always said, a dream is just a dream until you write it down, and then it becomes a goal. And I always wrote down all the goals I had, short-term, medium-term, long-term, so I could always stay focused. So when I got knocked down, which again, you're going to get knocked down. Question is, are you going to get back up? And are you going to get back up even stronger because you want to reach your goal? That is a great message to our students today who uh, face different challenges every day. And it, persistence is important for our students. What kind of support did you receive along the way? Well, I think I'm very lucky. There's an old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have had one, my family, uh, my mother and father are always very supportive. Uh, I've had great coaches that have helped me and guided me along the way. And, and I think that's, that's the big thing. You know, family support has been great. And, and then again, I, I'm going to go back to what I said earlier about, you know, having goals that, uh, you know, you've you got to find other ways to get support. You've got to believe in yourself. As, as much of a support system as I had, you're, always, you're not always going to have somebody to hold your hand or, or pat you on the back. And you got to be able to be tough enough and resilient enough to keep battling through. And that's, again, where the goals really step in and help. Excellent. And our final question from our students today for you, Mr. Routens. When working in an environment where you have to lean on others, how important is it to be a team player and get along with everybody around us? Well, just like in sports, what I do on TV, you have to be a team player because think about it. I have a Matt Devlin who's a play-by-play. -play. I got a producer. I got a director. If one of us isn't doing our job, we all look bad. If we all do our job, we all make each other look better. And that's the whole idea of a team. Uh, you know, not every team is not everybody's as good as everybody else on a team. So the stronger players have to help the weaker players. And the weaker players have to do what they have to do to make a positive impact on the team. So it's really important that everybody works together and tries to get the best out of each other. And the best way to do that is just support each other. Always find ways to, to work together and, and don't look down on anybody. Don't look over anybody. Make sure everybody's a part of the whole thing. Great. That is another great message for our students today here. Um, we'll give you one opportunity to uh, say something special to our students at Forest Hills uh, before we sign off? Well, hey, this has kind of been a tough time for everybody, right? We have a pandemic going on and, and it's been, life's been a lot very different for, for all of you guys, for me, families and so forth. And the key is to understand that it's all gonna get better, all right? Be safe, be strong and know it's going to get better. 
And something I, you know, I heard not too long ago that really hit home with me. You know, storms aren't always, in, you know, in front of us for a bad reason. Sometimes storms are in front of us to clear a path, to open a, open a new door and open a new way. And I think we all have to stay positive knowing that we're going to get through all this and just don't lose faith. On behalf of the staff and students of Forest Hill School, we want to thank you today for joining us and supporting our virtual career week. Thank you very much, Mr. Outens. My pleasure. And, and again, stay strong, everybody.